So today I joined a Pro Blue City Barrels tournament. So it's a 30-ish player tournament. I'll attach the bracket on the screen. And the rules on the tournament are pretty simple. It's a uh, boost only, best of five every game. And this is actually the first round of the tournament. And we're up against Melon BTD. Uh, at least that's what it says on the uh, on the Discord registration here. So starting map is offside. I'm going back to my form here. And use a picked map and side and yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, let's hop right into it. So going directly from bomb on offside. Now Darkling from bomb has had its ups and downs recently. Like it's it was it used to be good, but it received it doesn't ex didn't exactly receive nerfs, but other strats received buffs and whatnot. So it just kind of died. But um, recently bomb got buffed and Darkling got buffed as well. So. Just gonna be going dark in form bomb. Yeah, let's see how it goes. It's all the first game, so I don't really care if I lose because I just have um two losing maps to rely on, right? So also this is a post commentary by the way, because I was kinda focused when playing this. So that's that. Uh looks like he's going dark here, so most likely dark from super or ace. Either of those two. Can't really imagine him going anything else. So I just went for the started uh standard 258 start here. And yeah, gonna be selling some pings here, try to force his second trip here, but looks like he's just on an op to greed here, which is fine. And he forces my powerful dots here, which is um the standard stuff here, so I just get it up and looks like around four plantation here. I mean I probably won't get any bananas around four. So yeah, it's it's just around five plantation technically, so that is that. And yeah, let's see how it goes. Um he's also going uh for around five plantation here, which is like standard. And he's actually opting for some aggression here. Now, he, there could be a couple of reasons for him to do this. Either he's trying to extend the, extend the rounds out, or he's just like getting his eco up, right? So, like, do we even need to anti stall with Darkling Bomb, or are we just. Like, you, you have two situations, right? You can either go high form Darkling Bomb, or you can just um, try to go for an anti stall approach, which you can just drain your opponent and basically anti stall. So, that's basically two approaches, but. I'm not too sure what approach works the best here because I don't know, Darkling Bomb is good um, in a drain game scenario but Darkling Bomb doesn't really perform that well if the money is like, you have too much money right because Mons is not really that expensive so I kind of have mixed thoughts on whether you should anti or not Honestly starting off, in, starting now, I'm probably gonna start anti with with Darkling Bomb so yeah, round 7, I just buy the second plantation. Our farms are looking great, by the way, because neither of us had the stolen one, so this is just the power of um, stalling, I guess, for you. Uh, round 8, I'll be setting him some yellows here just to force his bolt. There we go, he gets set up. And I'm just gonna anchor on my boost here just to greed here. So, yeah, I can just free greed here. If he wants to rush, be my guest. I'm just gonna boost. Uh, looks like he's opting to send a rush. Alright, so I'll wait as long as possible to. Um, Use my boosters so right about now is a good time. Uh, we should defend that no less, lo no less loss. Okay, we do nice. And I actually went go for a okay and go for a plantation there, which is a misplay, right? And so probably the better play there is to just get up a cluster and bank, right? Yeah, that's probably the better play. So select misplay by my end there, but should be fine regardless since his farms are in shambles. We almost have double his farms, by the way. Uh, he's up an 80 eco, which is fine, so not a big deal. And he just forced the spoil. Actually, he got the, the spoil before I even forced it, so that's kind of good. And I'm still rushing here, so I don't know. I kind of thought he did not get up the spoil, I guess, which is why I rushed there. And I just go for around 11 bank. Should have gotten up a bank earlier, to be honest, but it is what it is. Let's just play it safe because we have like no defense right now, let's be honest. I might use one my last spike here though because I'm I'm kinda scared right now. Because I literally have like no defense. Like this defense doesn't even this defense doesn't even defend yellows here, I'm if I'm be honest. No rush, okay, so I don't know my god, what what does Bass do it, bro? He just went for a spoil. So he's playing this very defensive for some reason. So I think he has Dark Form Super here. Yeah, I don't really remember what he went, by the way. Because it's been a while since I played this series. Uh, round 14, I am on pace on the round 14 BI, and he is not on pace for the round 14 BI. So I don't know, man. This is why you know yellow is round eight is not worth it. Look at 
the farm difference were like he sure he had 80 equally but i just caught up on eco now and we're basically out you can wear 120 now i mean he's gonna get his bi up now but our bi is accelerated so oh is that even a bia he's off he's short of by like 150 that's unlucky but yeah, rounds of speed, I'm just gonna send him a rush. It's a boost every single time, and you get 70 rounds of speed BI. Alright. So nicely done there. Honestly, not really nicely done because no bro, he just our opponent just kinda of slacked this game. He did not match our bag. He did he matched our BI very late and would probably like double his farms if I'm being honest. Like if you just um liquefy all of our leads here, like our eco lead, our money lead in our BIA. I think we just double we're just doubling his farms right now. So I just found some evos here just to scare him because um I thought he was pretty nervous and it actually works out because look at him, he's getting a but uh, he's just got up a trip, that's funny. Alright, so I just wait a little bit better way to send him one because I thought he was gonna send me one, but after I confirmed that he's not sending him more, I just send Y. And it's gonna be Bilum boosted as well, so have fun with this buddy. He's probably gonna need a six grip. He forms to defend this boost list. Actually, no, he's gonna opt to cash out here. Alright. Damn, okay. You should never cash that out, if I'm being honest. You should just boost that every single time, but you do you. And yeah, let's are on the way. I just tried to layer another rush here. But it looks like he's fine, right? He's like a gazillion spools. The branch just started to spools farm. Crazy. And, oh, by the way, I have a factory. Yeah, I cashed out on 19 for a factory. That's the power of accelerated BIA. So, yeah, literally, we're doubling his farm check now. And, I don't know, why is he not selling the fan club? Look, he still has his fan club up. I don't know what bro is cooking over there. He should, he should definitely sell that, right? 100%? Or is this like secret tech or something? It, it's not. Like, he's just, this is just bad at the game. Like, no offense, but. Why are you keeping the $8,000 in defense? You can literally go for an ODS instead. Okay, round 21 should be here now. Honestly, this defile is round 20, right? Like, all I need is just something like back for round 22, I think. And that's just gonna, like, defend it probably till, like, round 27, honestly, because the buff impact is so good. And we're about to go for a second pack, and this is what I'm saying, bro, like, Bank is just meta, bro. Like, look at my files compared to his. He went for a late BIA where we went for a early. I mean, to be fair, he has made some questionable financial decisions here. Um, cough the bad love, but all we do is here, let's just sell some deads here, post some defense. Because his current defense is not gonna suffice, let's be honest. So, oh, he's got a fan club for that. Why is the what does he have a fan club up, bro? That's so weird. So, I don't know bro, you should sell the fan club and go for an ODS bro, like come on now. I don't know why he's playing like this but... So here's one factory as opposed to our double fact and we have a BI as well so... Yeah, we, we are out farming him pretty hard and... Looks like I'm going for a BI spam approach this game, alright, so... Uh, let's see how this goes then. I mean there's two playstyles, since I decided to play this passively, I'm gonna rely on BI spam here to basically spam pre of Dooms late game and like the fun basically infinite sea breeze so let's see how this goes man should be a fun one all right so we are about to go for another bi now so good stuff man we are just like outforming so hard for like look at the farm lead i don't know what it, okay so yeah he he's he has like eight thousand dollars invested in his fire club for some reason and we're sitting with camel leads, that's not gonna do anything. Um, uh, oh, I guess I, he did not force my depleted, did he? Yeah, I don't think he forced my depleted like ever, unless I'm wrong. So let's go for the laser cannon and just defend because I just avoid defending here because obviously I'm in such a good spot here. Like, this is completely winning for me. Like, we're up in eco, we are like triple of his farms, and our strategy is very strong in late game as well. And uh, I tried to fit a farm there, by the way, inside the triangle thingy. It is possible to fit a farm there. It is in my spreadsheet, so 100% possible, but you need to be precise for the um, farm placements, other farm placements, right? Like the farms below it, so. 
at all 24 you should be fine with just an impact so you just put it on last but i just get up another cluster just to be extra safe because i'm not trying to choke a loss here so looks like he's fine wrong but if i always ace okay there you go so he's going dfa and we just we all close dfa 100 percent so not too sure what this guy's plan is here now and look at the impact bro like the blues don't even cross the first band bro impact is so good now yeah look, the blues literally don't even cross the first band that is crazy all right so yeah, I'm just spamming BIAs now. This farms us in shambles, boys. Like, I don't know. This guy's just like lacking this entire game, bro. And he's just not doing much, but like, is he like just staring at his screen or something? Like, I don't, I don't understand what he's doing. So round 27 AI mobs are here. I just get up two monsters. Maybe you need three monsters here, depending on um, how many darklings you have. But two should be enough here. I almost end up dying here, but impact does clutches up, so that's good. And yeah, I just get up a third one. Didn't really need that, but oh well, it's whatever. So round 28 is here. Um, yeah, I'm literally just spamming BIAs now. I should sell the factory soon here for more BIAs. Honestly, I don't know, right? I should probably just stay like, over factories at this point because it's only round 28 and the DFA doesn't go past or like what, count 38. If you have my micro, like my level of micro can probably defend till round 20. 8 or 9, but for most people, like, they can't even defend on 25, but like, people got really bad micro, so I should just stop farming here and just start the name space on 25 ish and just defend a counter because I have 5000 eco and that's quite a bit. But I don't know, bro, maybe Rave Room spam is just extremely strong and just defends like around 40 plus, but I don't think that's the case here because we don't really have a stall, right? And yeah, stall is just so important with Darkling, man. Like, the Rail Dooms need a stall. Um, do the necessary damage. Uh, we're almost struggling to... We're struggling to match up. Let's see what we're saying. We're fine. Yeah, we're good. Alright. So, round 41 is here, man. And I'm opting to eco here. Alright, so it looks like I'm just trying to make this ultra late. I'm just going for the clip at this point. And it's going to be a Rail Doom, so we should be fine for infinite ceramics. And he still doesn't have max farm, so I don't know what this guy is doing here. Down to two is on the way though, we should be fine with the ray of two. Look, it just shredded the AI completely and he's about to die. Oh my god, he's dead to AI. Bro. Dude. You placed out on the ace. You upgraded it to the left side four times and you're fine to AI for like what? Most of the round here, so. I don't know, just get up a spectre, bro. It's not hard if I don't really do AI. So, yeah, that's kind of a bummer, to be honest. I was looking forward to the late game, but it is what it is. So we are up 1-0 now, and Viper is just losing map, going Darkling farm ball once again. So obviously I won first game, right? So I'm kind of like, I'm kind of thinking like, let's just commit to going Darkling farm bomb for the rest of the series, but why not? Because Darkling farm bomb is something you don't usually see anymore, especially in the pro scene. So we'll try to revive it a little bit, but... Yeah, let's see how this goes then. I mean, the cluster spot is decent. It's It just depends on if the cluster spot is good or not, because then you can just screen like crazy. So, I go for passive start here, right? Honestly, I'm starting to think that passive start is not the play with Darkling Bomb anymore, but... I don't know, dude. I need to, like, actually go late game with a bunch of Ray of Dooms, because... I want to see how Ray of Doom does versus a bunch of PUPs. And you can just rely on more or less on strong for a CMG popping power. I don't know, it could work honestly, but I have no bro. Like, I mean, there's a play always oh, going darkling as well, by the way. So, probably darkling from Q then. No, not a darkling from Bob, darkling from Bob as well. I don't imagine him going Glue because it's such a short map. The map needs to be long for Glue to work, obviously, because Glue needs time to like decay the balloon. So, Round 4 is here, yeah, I just go for the powerful dots and I will reinforce this, so don't need to send pings. Standard um, textbook rush here, so now I'm just gonna save up for our long fight plant here. There we go, perfectly afforded, so 256 is indeed the number with passive darkling. Uh, round 5 is here, we should be fine. Honestly, this is even different space blacks, I think. Should be fine for like space blacks to like round 8 probably. Then we have yellows. 
So like I said, I don't know, bro. There's two scenarios. You can either go for anti-stall train game approach, which is which Dragon Ball excels at, but why not just play NFE instead? Because NFE can train better and like farm better. So maybe we'll give this try a shot here. So round seven, I just send a couple backs here. The thing is, I kind of get um scared here because I'm uh, I'm stalling, right? So if he's going darkling from clue like a weirdo, it's not gonna be fun for us to say the least. So I just send greens here, trying to see what the third tower is here. Once he, once I confirm it's bomb, I'm gonna play like I'm gonna just default on player normally. And okay, he goes for a second darkling. So now it's just like 90% sure. I'm just like 90% sure that he's going darkling from clue here because. You should always go for a uh, bomb for greens as opposed to a uh, darkling because one is just cheaper and two is better as well. It's not only just cheaper, it's better for its price. So round eight, I just go for plantation, I think, and I'm just saving up for yellow rush now at this point. Actually, no, I don't even send yellows. That's a misplay, bro. You should always send yellows here because um again, if they have glue, you're screwed. You don't want this to relate. It's just gonna get He's just gonna get destroyed lead game. So round 10, I guess I wait till one more round just to confirm it's if it's glue. So it is glue, dude. Oh my god. So yeah, this is a very bad spot for me then. Also, can I even push it my I go for round 10 bank by the way. Okay, that's fine. So obviously you want to bleed when you're in a kind of in a playing a chip strategy as opposed to passive. Like chip versus passive, you always wanna bleed because you want them to send you rushes and whatnot. So I just sent him a camelette, forces depleted. Also, my darkling squad is incorrect. I should have used my look where I'm placing darkling now, right? I should have used that as my first spot. And he sends me cam grow led at a cam grow zebra. And this doesn't really do much, does it? Yeah, I just pop the zebra, I just spike the net, right? Okay, eventually I get him depleted and just fine. Just stand the rest of the lights and good. So that was a massive waste of money by him, not gonna lie. I don't like that rush. Well, scammers are expensive and especially um cam grows here. So round 14 is here. Honestly, um he shouldn't really send me anything, right? Because I can just defend with the cluster, so this is gonna be passive hereafter. So I moved to cash out. I probably could have cash out for Robert in BI, bro. I should have created that. What am I doing? So round 15, he sends me a sneaky camo ceramic rush. I just get up a cluster and we just completely fly. And minimum leaks there, nothing crazy. He should have probably layered with round 16. That way he um probably would have done more damage. So I just buy the BI. Also, camo ceramic is so expensive. It's really not just worth it to send those. Alright, so round 17 BI it is, man. He still does not have a BI. Oh, never mind. There he gets it up. So round 17 BI and mine was round 15, I think. So we are in a really good spot, bro. Obviously, send him a Moab. Actually, I'm going for a farm now, dude. That's not a play. Because Moabs are on the way. I guess I just anticipate that he's not going to be sending me one and just send him one. I guess, yeah, that's that's from the type play. Balloon boost as well because I have all three balloon boosts and it goes for the glue boost defense. That's the standard defense. And I think he needs to boost this. I don't know if he defends without boosting. Yeah, he just boosts. Nice. And uh, he's just fine. Okay. So BFBs are on the way now. And he's not really a lot of defense for BFBs because it's a short map. So I believe we both cash out here for BFPs if he sends me one. But if he doesn't want to send me one, I'm not cash out obviously. Alright, round 20 is almost here. Let's set a BFP. I, I think he can defend without cashing out, bro. He sends me a more, bro. What is this? I just buy the impact. I was just boost. I guess boosting is fine because you have all three boosts. Yeah, it's all good. He sent Cam go there as well in there. Kind of weird, so. Yeah, let's see what he does for this BFB, man. He's going for our third tier left side glue there, which is very unreliable. You don't really see that. I guess it's a 
way of defending, but you'd rather just go for glue walls, right? Because it's a short map, glue walls is definitely worth it. Hope the things actually get unglued. And he has to boost, holy, he's not really neat there. Oh, is he dead? No, he's fine. Okay. So, bro survived. I just cashed out for a robbery with facts since he did not force my cash out round 20. So, always send BFP. That's why you should always send BFP. Because just forces cash out, forces so much defense. Look at how much defense he is. Like, he has invested like triple of what I have in terms of defense, right? So, that's why BFPs are always worth it. And we have an eco lead. So, the eco um, re reduction is not even that great, to be honest. So, Round 22, I just buy the impact. He's sending more camo guys, bro. Like, was in love with the camo led balloons, I guess. And he's sending white. What is that? Camo whites? <laughs> it is camo whites, but what, is the, what are these rushes? I I'm pretty sure I don't even get any additional defense there, I think. Okay, now he's just ecoing. It's kind of too late to eco, if I'm being honest. Yeah, he did not. He's not really setting his darkens either. Like, you you're supposed to bleed as a darken. From Kunu player, so I don't know. This guy's been like, kind of slacking lately. He's sad, sad was bad, but he like not toxic. But the sell your darklings and go for a factory, bro. It's like unlucky that it's not unlucky. This is just like bad financial decisions, to be honest. So look how I'm, oh, I'm greeting, bro. I'm greeting so hard here. Uh, this is just like busy spamming emotes, but like just farm, bro. Okay, Fire gets up the factor here, so... I suppose we have close to double his farms. We can see the farm difference once he sells that BIA. Obviously, it's equal lead now because he's keeping the BIA for... Um, a longer amount of time, so... Oh, round 24, I actually sent him a ZMG. Now, this is a very good rush. Now, defending a ZMG with Darkling from Bomb is... Really difficult, like... Especially on the short map, like... Even on the longer maps, like Dreadnought and Blaster Populous... It's all tough enough, and you need to do some crazy maneuvers here to defend on on a short map like YBR. So he goes for our Hydra Rocket Bolts. Do not recommend going for that. And he's also not even using the correct stall here for the CMG. So the correct way to defend this um, is I'll just um, explain it briefly. You just glue it till it's popped into Moab layer, seventy percent of Moab layer, and then you just like replace the glue boost stall with a. Uh, Blue little first all, and you want to replace the blue post position at the top as well and the front end attack. So it's kind of scuffed defend, but there is a really optimized way to defend this. So I'm pretty sure I've done it before, right? You can like look at any of my blast up of this gameplay I've done it before. And he bro is spamming like a million darkens there. Once he's supposed to get up on the left side, like fourth tier glue, not a third tier. So the ceramics are like melted faster. And Bro is struggling over there. Okay, that's his last boost, so... I don't know, he's probably dead here. Is he fine, bro? Okay, he defended. Where's a very sloppy defend, man? Look at my farms, I have triple his farms because... This guy's like over defending and not really farming. Okay, all 27 is here. Triple moral and... Uh, double impact should be enough for... Um, the triple moral that AI sensors, so... Should be good there. And again, like this guy's just not farming, bro. Like, what I would recommend this guy to do is just sell most of your darklings and just go for more factories, honestly. And also sell your BIA because um it's it's too late to keep a BIA up. The eco is just not gonna pay off in time. So round 28, I'm just like farming like crazy here. The farm difference is just insane. Because we sent all CMG. Okay, round 29 is here. I should honestly just like over defend now. Just to um seal the victory here. And round 29, I sent another ZMG and this will pop out on round 30. So it will be a round up ZMG. I'm sure it's like 50% ramp, right? So it's going 50% strong stronger, even though I'm sending it um on round 30 here. So there we go. It pops out exactly like I think it was like two seconds late, but pretty much exact timing mean, doesn't really matter if it's like a few seconds off. So round 30, I'm just gonna start to send space here. Now space, um, CMGs and group CMGs both do similar amount of damage versus Dark and Glue. 
Now there is a theory that grouped CMGs do better because they slightly change the ROD angle by like two degrees every CMG, I think, or something like that. So yeah, I don't know, bro. Maybe I should just send space for now because um the most probably probable outcome of this like scenario is just he's just gonna shot and call me. So I just play it safe, keep most of my farms up and yeah, just um just keep setting space here. Make sure he is forced to defend, like solve these. And he's just not looking good. It's just not looking good for him to be honest. Look at his screen, bro. He's struggling so much just to the first turn and the second CMG is not even like dented on the way. Alright, so he defended round 32. Right? Is he fine to round 32? Yeah, he is. Okay, nice. But I don't know, bro. Is he gonna be fine to the second CMG? Like he has like four more CMGs to deal with, so yeah, you wouldn't really wanna be this guy right now. And we have like close to max farms here. Any counter he sends now is just too late because uh oh he's he has improved room boost by the way, I didn't just notice that. Ain't no way. Bruce bring in proud powers to load out and he just goes down here. Yeah, so GG's buddy. I don't know, he can not into the play that very well. Also, this is way too long of a video, so I'm, I'm probably just gonna make it into a two part video. And as soon as the losing map, I'll load this tomorrow. So, um, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed, and then see you all in the next one. Peace out.